This week on Top 3 Tuesday, we're covering hip preparation for cross-country skiing. Hello everybody, it's Dr. Andy, Dr. Brandon with Twin Cities Movement, and we are here today talking about hip preparation for cross-country skiing. Of course you're going to move your hips a lot in cross-country skiing. You're going to move it a lot in flexion and extension, so you want to make sure that you're able to separate those two movements. That's a lot of what we're going to be talking about, in addition to getting the insides getting the insides prepared, taken care of, and everything like that. So we're going to start with that, actually. We're going to roll the adductors. Ignore Dr. Brandon's pain face. This is, I mean, it's not exactly the most pleasant thing, but we're not looking to try and dig in or anything like that here. So really, you're going to spend a little bit of time just rolling the inside of your thigh. You can straighten your leg as well. You can bend your leg. You can keep your leg in a certain position, like find that hot spot, and then straighten and bend your knee. So you spend a little bit of time in that just to get that inner thigh stretched out. And you're gonna also spend a little bit of time in the front of your hip. So we're talking like your TFL and your glute medius and then a little bit of the psoas, but probably not very much just because the psoas is so deep. You're not really gonna get a lot of it with this particular stretch. You're gonna follow this up with a half kneeling hip flexion. So Dr. Brandon is gonna have a nice uh, vertical shin, so bring your foot forward just a little bit. Nice and tall, you're gonna engage this movement by driving your down knee into the floor. So you're gonna squeeze your butt, keep yourself nice and tall, and then lift up your foot, just like that. This is not a big movement, you're not supposed to hold it, you're just lifting it up. And again, that's just extending one hip and flexing the other hip at the same time. And we're gonna follow this up with my personal favorite hip movement of all time, it's the hip airplane. So you're basically going to imagine that your whole body is a plank and you are just moving forward about this hip. You balance as well as you can and you drop in and you go out. It's challenging, it's very difficult. You can use a wall, you can just have your toes on the ground is a really good way of scaling it. Just all of these different things that you're just really just trying to feel that movement in the hip socket, in the hip joint. Should have practiced a little first. Yeah, <laughs> and we can certainly re <laughs> refilm this as needed, but you know, we'll, we'll decide with Dr. Brandon. It says it's his discretion. So again, thank you very much for watching. Uh, share this on Facebook if you know anybody that has any sort of hip issues, tight hips. Uh, anybody that likes cross-country skiing would certainly appreciate this video, I'd imagine. You can follow us on Instagram or Twitter. You can subscribe to our email newsletter where you will get this video and videos like it emailed to you every week. So thank you so much for watching. Take care.